Gerald R. Ford International Airport IATA, GER, ICAO, KGRR, FAA LID, GER, is a commercial airport in Cascade Township approximately 13 miles 21 kilometers southeast of Grand Rapids, Michigan. The facility is owned by the Kent County Board of Commissioners and managed by an independent authority. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2017-2021 categorized it as a small hub primary commercial service facility. The facility opened as the Kent County Airport and later became Kent County International Airport. In December 1999, the airport was renamed for Gerald R. Ford, the 40th Vice President and the 38th President of the United States. Ford represented the Grand Rapids area in the United States House of Representatives from 1949 to 1973. The airport is the largest commercial airport in the West Michigan region and is the second largest airport in Michigan after Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport. GER covers 3,127 acres 1,265 hectares. The airport currently has flights to 27 domestic airports. History Grand Rapids' first airport broke ground in November 1919, 4 miles .4 kilometers south of downtown. This was eight years after the area witnessed its first landing, a Wright biplane at Comstock Park State Fairgrounds on September 10, 1911. The airport was operated by the Kent County Board of Supervisors. The first scheduled air service in the United States was between Grand Rapids and Detroit actually Dearborn's Ford Airport on a Ford Stout monoplane named Miss Grand Rapids, which started July 26, 1926. In 1938–39 the Works Progress Administration made improvements including new runways and runway widening, fencing, sodding, lighting, remodeling the administration building and construction of a new restaurant. Circa 1940 the airport extended between 32nd and 36th streets, from Jefferson Avenue east to the railroad. The west end was soon expanded south to just north of Himes Street and in the 1950s runway 1836 was extended to 5700 and reached south to 44th Street. In 1959, the county began construction on the present airport in Cascade Township, several miles east of the first. The new airport opened November 23, 1963, and was dedicated June 6, 1964. It had a 6,600 foot (2,000 meters) runway designated 826 and a 3,400 foot (1,000 meters) designated 1836. The first scheduled jet was a United Airlines Boeing 737 to 200 on April 28, 1968, from Chicago O'Hare. The aircraft N9003U was named City of Grand Rapids. In 1968, the only scheduled non-stops beyond Michigan were to Chicago and Green Bay. On January 27, 1977, the Board of Commissioners renamed Kent County Airport as Kent County International Airport with the opening of a U.S. Customs Service office in the main terminal building. In 1997, the Board added the 8,500-foot runway 1735s to allow continued operations during a $32 million reconstruction of runway 8R, 26L, completed in 2001. It completed a passenger terminal renovation in 2000 at a cost of approximately $50 million. In 2004 the airport served more than 2 million passengers for the first time in a year. In 2010, the airport broke the 2004 record with almost 2.2 million passengers, as increase of over 23% from 2009. On January 2, 2007, a U.S. Air Force jet carried the remains of former President Gerald Ford to his namesake airport as part of funeral services culminating in burial at his Presidential Museum in Grand Rapids the next day. From April 2010 through October 2011, the airport was a focus city for Allegiant Air. Air Canada operated the airport's only international flights to Toronto Pearson International Airport from July 2008 until September 2013. It was the airline's second attempt at service between the two markets. Delta Airlines operates Boeing 757 200 seasonally between Grand Rapids and Detroit during the summer, making it the largest aircraft that is currently serving GER. Topic facilities Gerald R. Ford International Airport has two parallel east west runways and one north south runway. 
Along with cargo and general aviation facilities, the airport has a two-level passenger terminal with two concourses, A has seven gates and B has eight. Runways 8R, 26L and runway 17 have ILS. The airport also has a 5,000-foot general aviation runway north of the main 8R, 26L runway. In September 2017, the airport celebrated the opening of Phase 1 of their Gateway Transformation, a 59,000-square-foot addition onto the passenger terminal facility that included a consolidated passenger security screening checkpoint, a new marketplace with expanded retail and food and beverage offerings, new business centers and lounges, and much more. Concourse A's tenants are Allegiant Air and Delta Air Lines. American Airlines, Frontier Airlines, Southwest Airlines and United Airlines occupy Concourse B. All gates have climate-controlled jetways. When new baggage screening regulations were introduced by the Transportation Security Administration in 2002, the airport was the first in the nation to conduct trials on the new screening machines. The baggage processing areas were too small for the machines so they were placed in the passenger lobby. Airlines and destinations The Gerald R. Ford International Airport is currently served by six passenger airlines and two cargo airlines. Passenger Cargo The airport handled 82,921,357 pounds kilograms of air freight in 2016. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Top domestic destinations. Topic Annual Traffic Topic Ground Transportation The airport is at the intersection of forty fourth Street and Patterson Avenue. It abuts I ninety six on the east, M six on the south, M thirty seven on the west, and M eleven on the north. Metro Cab and Metro Cars provides taxi and luxury sedan service and the airport is served by Avis, Budget, Enterprise, Hertz, and National, Alamo rental car companies on site. Rapid Route 17, Woodland, Airport, travels between the airport and Woodland Mall Kentwood Station on weekdays between 6.30 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. From Woodland Mall, passengers can continue on to downtown or parts of the east side of Grand Rapids via routes 5 and 6, or across town to Granville and Wyoming on routes 24, 28 and 44. <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft spotting The airport has two aircraft spotter locations. There is an observation deck located on the mezzanine level of the passenger terminal building, which gives a relatively unobstructed view of the ramp area and runway 8R and 26L. An outdoor viewing area on Craft Avenue north of 52nd Street has picnic tables, litter barrels, and a portable toilet. Radio station 1650 AM broadcasts transmissions by air traffic controllers, pilots, and GFIA operations and ground crew staff. The viewing area is open year-round daily from dawn to dusk. Topic: <inaudible> Planned development. In 2013, the airport began building a natural treatment system to improve stormwater management practices and safeguard the waters of the Thornapple River. The new, innovative system will include a biological treatment system that will improve collection of stormwater runoff and naturally remove sediments and pollutants before sending the water to the Thornapple River, which flows just east of the airfield. The airport eliminated the two separate security checkpoints in each concourse and created one consolidated checkpoint in the Grand Hall area to help traffic flow much faster and to be prepared for future growth. 
In addition, the Grand Hall area and the entrance area to the airport was renovated with more shopping and dining options. Work began in late 2015 and completed in June 2017. Concourse A and B were recently refurbished and completed in early 2015. In 2016, the airport partnered with the Cascade Community Foundation on plans to renovate the current outdoor viewing area to make it a larger, more inviting place for people to relax. The renovated park opened in May 2017. The airport began construction of a roof over the parking deck in March 2015 to increase close in, covered long term parking. The roof covers most of the fourth floor, though some spaces on the fourth and third floors remain uncovered due to airfield sight line requirements for the FAA control tower. The garage roof was completed in November 2015 and will allow use of the fourth floor spaces during heavy snow. <laughs> 